foundation is a tricky one. Keep watching. Hi guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I wanted to have a conversation about foundation today because I think one of the biggest hurdles that I came across when I was trying to go cruelty free was trying to find a um, cruelty free foundation that I really, really liked. And I think this is particularly true if you like drugstore foundations and you're on YouTube a lot because it seems like the drugstore foundations that are talked about a lot on YouTube are not cruelty free ones. So, you know, things like Revlon Color Stay, L'Oreal True Match, and my personal favorite was the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a guide to a cruelty free drugstore foundation and I'll talk about one kind of high end one as well. So I've tried several foundations since going cruelty free, um, and these four are my favorite. The first one I want to talk about is the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear. I've done a whole review about this. If you want to, you can check it out. I will link it down below. Um, but this one is really, really nice. It's kind of a creamy formula, so it's very thick, and it's definitely a full coverage foundation. Um, my skin is extremely dry. It's very, very, very dry. And so my only complaint about this is that it can feel somewhat drying and I much prefer a foundation that's a little bit lighter coverage um, and that is not, you know, so matte looking. But I think it would be really great especially if you have oily skin or you find your foundation tends to move a lot. My only really big complaint is that there is not a lot of color choices. Um, another foundation that I do like a lot is the Hard Candy uh, Just Face It foundation. Hard Candy, I think this is the only foundation that they make. It does come with a pump. Mine's super messy. I like this foundation a lot. There's not a lot of color range, so again, that's another complaint. This one reminds me a lot of the Revlon Color Stay foundation, if you like that. Um, but the shades do tend to be a little bit more on the yellow side. So if you have very cool toned skin like I do, mine's a little more neutral, but if you're like maybe blonde, um, you might have a hard time finding a match. And there's not a, a wide variety of um, range either. So if you're extremely fair, um, I think this is the lightest shade and it's a little dark for me. And then if you have a deeper complexion, you're probably going to be pretty out of luck with a hard candy one. But if you can find the shade, they're very, very nice. Another foundation that I absolutely adore is my Flower Foundation. Um, Flower, I think, is, is one of the best cruelty-free brand, brands, uh, and it's one of the best cruelty-free drugstore brands. It just has such a wide variety of products. You can find this and the Hard Candy one both at Walmart, um, and Physicians Formula you can find at most drugstores. Um, but Flower has a ton of different foundations. This one is just their liquid foundation, which I absolutely love. Um, and this is probably the closest I've found to that Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Um, it, it does have a very nice uh, blendability to it. It is too fair for my skin tone, um, which is very rare. It's very rare that I don't find that I'm not the fairest color. Um, so they have a wide variety of color range, which is something that I really like. And the other thing I really like about the flower foundations is that there's a, a bunch of different kinds of foundation. So if you're looking for a powder foundation or a cream foundation, if you have drier, if you have oilier skin, um, you're really, I think, going to enjoy this brand. And then if you have drier skin like I do, they have this one. They also have a CC or BB cream if you're looking for something with a little bit lighter coverage. So I think you can't go wrong with the flower. And then one that I got recently in the foundation that I'm wearing right now is by Sonia Kashuk, and it is the Perfecting Luminous Foundation. And I had been wanting to try this because I was really hoping that it would be similar to the Neutrogena Healthy Skin, and it's not. I'm wearing it right now, and it's lighter coverage than the other ones that I've been talking about, but still kind of buildable to like a medium coverage. Um, and I do think that it does give me a nice luminosity but it doesn't have that same glow that the Neutrogena Healthy Skin has and I just I don't know that I'm going to be able to find that but I do really like it and a friend of mine gave this to me because she bought it and it was the wrong shade so I would recommend it you can find this at Target the only thing I do find strange about the Sony Kashuk foundation is it has a little bit of an odd scent it's kind of like cinnamon I think I don't quite know how to put my finger on it but it's not an offensive scent it's just not what I would expect foundation to smell like so those are some drugstore foundations that I do recommend. I want to briefly talk about some that I really did not like. 
Um, the Wet n Wild ones I found were horrible. I hated the tinted moisturizer, and even the ones that are supposed to be kind of full coverage just felt like a grease ball, which is saying something because my skin is extremely dry and it did not blend. It just, I felt like I was wearing clown makeup when I wore it. Um, so I really do not recommend any of the Wet n Wild ones. I have not found one that I like. And then also the e.l.f. ones. It seems like people like the e.l.f. foundations. Um, I am just not one of those people. Maybe it is the dryness of my skin. I just find it gets kind of patchy. It looks, it looks cakey. And then I also wanted to just briefly mention a kind of high-end foundation. And that is the foundation that I have been loving and addicted to lately. And it is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. Now, Bare Minerals is one of those brands that is owned by a parent company that tests. So Bare Minerals themselves are cruelty-free, but their parent company tests other products on animals. So it's up to you how you feel about that. This is also $30, um, which is not insanely expensive for a high-end foundation, but when you're used to buying something like this, which I think is about $10, it's a little pricey. But I found that this is just beautiful on my dry skin and I'm addicted to it. It's probably my found favorite foundation I have ever owned ever in the history of foundations. So I love this. I would recommend it, but of course depends on how you feel about the parent company thing. If not, I think the Sony Kashuk one is really great as well. What about you guys? What is your favorite drugstore foundation? Tell me in the comments. And if any of you know of a really good dupe for the Neutrogena Healthy Skin, I'd love to hear about that down below as well because I am still on the hunt for it. If this is your first time here, you can hit the subscribe button uh, so the next time I do a video, you'll know about it. And if you would like to see more of my family, you can follow my daily channel, which is Sudden Kim Pact. That will be linked down below, as well as my parenting channel, which is Heidi Kim TV. I post three days a week on that channel. So I will talk to you all hopefully very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I wanted to talk for a minute about the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. Um, I have been avoiding this palette for quite some time because I don't like animal print, which I know is, is a very silly reason to avoid it, but I really love the shades inside of it.